Hello everyone, this is Arrow, and welcome back to Sundown Moon Up Podfix. Today we'll be continuing Learning to Adapt to the Fall by Step Up Dog. Chapter 16, Zawa Be Out of It. Aizawa laid in his bed while Chio looked over him to make sure he was ready to get another dose of healing. This would let his legs have, have more use again. Zashi was sitting on the nest type thing that Hawks made for them. The man behind the impromptu nest sleepover is sitting on edge glaring death daggers at Chio, as in, just in case, because this is in Hawks' own words, if they know how the body works, it's easier to hurt more. That is a true statement, but Chio would never do that unless she had to. Besides watching every movement Chio makes, he also has Izuku in his lap and hidden behind all his puffed up feathers. Izuku made a cute little squawk when he was grabbed since Hawks noticed Chio first out of all of them. The little bird was honestly quite well behaved and only asked what was happening behind the wings. He did grow a bit more tense when he learned someone he didn't claim as a flock was going to be close to him. Besides the tense muscles and abundant questions, he was a very well behaved bird. You seem to be all, all ready for your healing, Shota. Right after that, he got a quick peck on the cheek. Everything started to feel a little distant as he got more tired. Oh, you're in more... You're in your half-sleep, half-awake states. Aizawa looks over to the short woman, talking to him. Oh, it's Chio. Wasn't she coming later? He hums as some hissing started up. What did you do to my dad? Dad? Who is dad? Who's in the room? Izashi, kid, hop. Oh. Don't worry your little head, my feather. He's just really sleepy, and after he wakes up, he can take off the cast on his legs finally. Aizawa was a dad to Hawks, is right? What? That's what he said. I'm honestly shocked he's still awake. I was sure he would pass out after that, but it seems he had a little more energy than I thought. Aizawa blinked a few times as he lulled his head to where the hissing noise came from, and there he saw big, very crimson wings of the person that says he's dad. He now noticed that some type of peeping noise was being made behind the red wing. Oh, right. The little one was behind them right now. You're only being let out of here alive because you healed him, but if that wasn't the case, my wings wouldn't be the only red thing in this room, you old bitch. The sound of his husband squawking filled his ears as Chio walked away from him. Mama, recovery girl was only healing him. Once he sleeps, he'll be normal again. The loud hissing that was coming from the one that claims to be his son stuttered to a stop when, once Hizashi practically hung himself off of him. Just let Chio leave and we can then help Shio fall asleep after she leaves, okay? We can even make the nest bigger. Doesn't that sound great? Nest? Aizawa must have said that out loud because Hawks' head snapped into his direction, giving a chance for small Chio to leave. <laughs> She's small. Very small. Something he noticed was the, was the black dinner plates that were Hawks' eyes at the moment. Aizawa chuckled at how he looked like a kitten with those big black eyes. Little baby. <laughs> Hawks kitty. Hawks suddenly grew in size as his wings puffed up and his husband's laughter filled his ears. I love that sound. Zashi's red got a little more red at that comment, but it was honestly so cute. I am not a fledgling. I'm a grown adult, thank you very much, Dad. Aizawa just smiled at him and shook his head. No, if you're my son, that means you're a baby forever. Hawks seemed to somehow puff up even more than before, and, st and Red started to also take over his face, but not as bright as his wings. Give up. You're a baby forever. Do not resist. Loud laughing and a flushed Hawks was the only thing Aizawa could really pay attention to in his day to day. This made him miss the phone that Izuku was holding as he recorded Aizawa in his out of, in his out of it glory. Hizashi watched as his Shota, the one that is so out of it right now, and looking at the floor with the most confusion he has ever seen on the man. Then he simply said nest, and now he is giggling up a storm with a big goof dopey smile on his face, stating that Hawks is his one son, and two, if he is his son, then he will always be baby. Hizashi couldn't help it, and was already laughing so hard he fell into the nest on the floor. Hawks was squawking and fluttering his wings in protest at being called a baby, also, the fact that he couldn't escape being a baby just just made the bird of prey bright red. Give up. You are a baby forever. 
do not resist. That was the nail in the coffin for Hizashi as he fell over and laid in the nest, busting a gut at what his tough and hard-ass husband just fucking said. Hawks yelled and spat out that he is an adult, wings slowly parting more and more. This allowed him to see what the little listener was doing, and here he saw how Izuki was recording the whole thing. His eyes grew wide as now he finally learned that Shota just couldn't escape this because Izashi couldn't record it himself. Shota can't escape this. I am an adult. I am both a hawk and human terms. And human terms, you hear me, Dad? Human sense. Hawk screeched as his wings splayed out wide. The little listener kept balance on his little fa- on his little feather's lap as he tried to get a better angle of Shota's face. Hizashi tried to at least catch his breath while laughing because it was truly getting hard to breathe. Baby. No! He snickered. He heard snickering as Izuku covered his mouth with his hand. Hizashi just can't breathe right anymore as his husband is telling the number three hero that he is a baby. He never thought in his whole life that he would witness this. This is something from the craziest dream Hisashi has ever had, and he is so glad he gets to live it in real life. I am the number three hero. My age is 22, and that is enough to drink and drive and, and fight. I have fought and killed someone before. I am not baby. Hisashi stopped laughing as he ha- so he can gauge how his husband is acting, also ignoring how Hawks had killed before. He wasn't a hero that long to do that yet. Sho is laying on the bed, slightly moving his legs up and down, like he's only noticing now that they are free. He is also looking at Hawks with an extremely straight face while his legs are slowly moving up and down. It was getting increasingly hard not to laugh at this. Shota literally smacks his lips a bit. He might need to get him some water soon. and narrows his eyes. Baby. Hizashi just falls down laughing so hard. All that fucking build-up just to say baby towards the little, the little feather again. Hizashi just can't take his husband today. Izuku is trying his best not to laugh, but anyone that was in the room can hear the twittering laugh that he has. He's glad he doesn't have to hold in his laugh or change it all the time. Hawks's wings are splayed out wide, puffed up to an extreme amount as he's getting more red. His wings are flapping a little in frustration and embarrassment, Slowly, he sh- but surely, matching his face in color with his wings. Aizawa just nodded his head up and down like he was just decided on something. Baby bird. Izuku couldn't hold it in anymore and started laughing just as loud as Izashi. Hawks have finally matched his, his wings color. Today is going to be a wild day. Here are some endnotes memes. Zawa, I'm getting my legs back. Recovery girl. Okay, this should be enough to knock him out. Zawa's staying awake and has the added bonus of being loopy. RG. Whoops. He had more than I thought. Hawk sings small things, making his dad loopy and out of it. Demon. Death. Death. Bad. Get out. I will make this room have a new paint job. Get out. Izu. She was just helping. Big puppy eyes. Sashi being really touchy to help. It's fine. He'll just need to get some sleep for once. Hawks. Fine. You live today, you old bitch. RG leaving the room after Zawa suddenly talked. I don't get paid enough for this. Nezu calling her. RG. Oh my god, what else do you need? Nezu. I was just thinking that maybe we should have more medical staff at school. With what happened, I would need to screen them, and then you to make sure that they work well with you. RG. Oh, if they survive being screened by you, then they can most likely work with me. Zawa. Baby. Hawks. No. Zawa. Yes. Sashi just fucking dying. Izuku getting receipts. Hawks. I am a man! Zawa. Baby bird always. Zashi. Oh my god, it's happening again. I'll be laughing too hard to actually record it again. Izu being able to record Lupizawa for once. Sashi. Oh my god, he can't escape it. Hawks. Okay, Dad, look. Well thought out argument as to why he is an adult. And look at this. 
point to a baby bird that is his son. Eh? Eh? Zala. Mm, baby. Hawks. Oh, mother f Izu. This is a very nice day to get blackmail. Zashi. I want to buy that later. Zuku. <laughs> Your flock. You get it for free. Zashi. <laughs> Family discount. Nezu doing so much digging into the Midorias and looking at the family tree that he put together before he went to that house. This goes here. This is when that happened. They're not related to that person. Probably that other one, though. Maybe that one? Fucking Christ, can't some of these fucks be alive? Oh wait, an in-law is alive still. I can try them. Nezu then learning that Tomi never interacted with her in-laws. Oh, for fuck. Alright everyone, that is the end for chapter 16 of Learning to Adapt to the Fall. Next chapter will also be more fluffiness, so it, 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 it's a break from all the angst. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you all soon.